Ever wondered how long it takes to mine one dollar of Bitcoin? It's a question that stirs curiosity in the minds of many, especially as cryptocurrency continues to dominate headlines and conversations worldwide. One of the most fascinating aspects of this digital gold rush is Bitcoin mining, but what exactly is it? Well, in simple terms, Bitcoin mining is the process of solving complex mathematical problems using computer hardware. The miners, those who perform this task, are rewarded with new Bitcoins. This process not only creates new Bitcoins, but also confirms the transactions on the Bitcoin network, ensuring its security and integrity. So, if you've ever asked yourself how long it might take to mine $1 worth of Bitcoin, you're not alone. But before we delve into the specifics, it's essential to understand the process of Bitcoin mining thoroughly. To understand this, we first need to understand the process of Bitcoin mining. Bitcoin mining is a complex process, but don't worry, we'll break it down. At its core, Bitcoin mining is essentially the act of solving complex mathematical puzzles. It's a little like a digital lottery, where the first one to find the solution gets a reward, and in this case the reward is Bitcoin. Now you might be wondering why are these mathematical puzzles so important? Well these puzzles or problems known as hash functions are the heart of Bitcoin's security mechanism. Miners race against each other to solve these problems, and the first one to do so gets to add a new block of transactions to the blockchain, which is a public ledger containing all transaction data from anyone who uses Bitcoin. Transactions are bundled into a block but not before they are verified. Miners verify transactions by checking the validity of the information against the existing blockchain. If everything checks out, the transaction is valid, and it's added to the block. This is a critical step because it prevents fraudulent transactions and maintains the integrity of the Bitcoin network. Now, on to the creation of new Bitcoins. The Bitcoin network is designed to produce a constant stream of Bitcoins regardless of the number of miners. This is achieved by adjusting the difficulty of the hash function puzzles. When lots of miners are competing, the puzzles become more difficult, ensuring that Bitcoins are produced at a steady rate. This system of competitive problem-solving, transaction verification and reward is the essence of Bitcoin mining. It's a process that is designed to be difficult and time-consuming, to control the production of new Bitcoins and secure the network. And let's not forget about the miners themselves. They play a crucial role in this process. They provide the computing power to solve the hash functions and verify the transactions. In return, they're rewarded with new Bitcoins and transaction fees, incentivizing them to continue mining and securing the Bitcoin network. So that's the basic process, but what about the time it takes? The time to mine $1 of Bitcoin isn't fixed. Various factors come into play. To understand this better, let's dive into some of these key factors. First off, the difficulty level. This is a dynamic factor that adjusts approximately every two weeks to ensure that the time between blocks remains around 10 minutes. A higher difficulty level means that it's harder to solve the mathematical problems, and therefore it takes more time to mine Bitcoin. Hence, the time to mine a Bitcoin value of $1 can increase when the difficulty level rises. Secondly, the miner's hardware plays a significant role. The more powerful and efficient your mining rig is, the faster you can solve the cryptographic puzzles that validate transactions and secure the Bitcoin network. For instance, a high-end graphics processing unit or GPU, can significantly reduce the time it takes to mine $1 worth of Bitcoin compared to a standard computer processor. Lastly, the cost of electricity is a huge factor. Mining Bitcoin is a power-hungry process. In fact, Bitcoin mining globally uses more electricity than some small countries. Therefore, the cost of electricity in your area could drastically affect the time it takes to mine $1 of Bitcoin. If electricity is cheap, you can afford to mine for longer periods, speeding up the process. Conversely, if electricity is expensive, you may need to limit your mining time which could lengthen the time it takes to mine $1 of Bitcoin. In addition to these, other factors like the current Bitcoin price, the mining pool you're part of, and even the climate in your area can influence the time it takes to mine $1 of Bitcoin. So, with these factors in mind, can we calculate the time it takes to mine $1 of Bitcoin? The answer isn't straightforward but with a good understanding of these influencing factors, you can better estimate your potential mining time. Calculating the exact mining time can be tricky, but we can estimate it. Let's dive into the process of calculating the time it takes to mine $1 worth of Bitcoin. Remember, this is an estimate and actual times may vary. First, you need to know the current Bitcoin block reward. 
As of now, the reward for mining a block of Bitcoin stands at 6.25 Bitcoins. This reward is halved approximately every four years, in an event known as halving. Next you need to consider the hash rate of your mining hardware. The hash rate is the speed at which your mining device operates. It's measured in terahashes per second or THS. Higher hash rates mean more computational guesses can be made per second, increasing your chances of finding the right answer and mining a block. You also need to take into account the overall network hash rate. This is the combined hash rate of every miner in the Bitcoin network. The higher the network hash rate, the tougher the competition, and the longer it can take to mine a block. Let's not forget the difficulty level of mining. The difficulty level adjusts approximately every two weeks, based on the total network hash rate. If more miners are competing, the difficulty level rises. If miners drop out, it falls. Now let's put all these factors together and calculate. You take the current block reward and multiply it by the price of Bitcoin. This gives you the total dollar value of the reward. Then you divide your hash rate by the network hash rate. This gives you your proportion of the total mining power. Multiply this by the total dollar value of the reward, and you have your estimated earnings per block. Finally, you divide the difficulty level by your hash rate to get the estimated time to mine a block. Remember, this is an approximation. The actual time can be shorter or longer, depending on luck and changes in the network hash rate or Bitcoin price. So, let's say you have a device with a hash rate of 14 THS, and the network hash rate is 120 million THS. If the current Bitcoin price is $50,000, and the difficulty level is 20 trillion, it would take approximately 6 months to mine $1 worth of Bitcoin. So, that's our estimate. But remember, Bitcoin mining isn't just about the time. It's also about the investment in hardware, the cost of electricity, and the risk of price fluctuations. It's a complex process, but with the right tools and approach, it can be a profitable venture. Bitcoin mining comes with its set of risks and rewards. Let's delve into them, shall we? First, the rewards. The most obvious one is, of course, earning Bitcoins. When you successfully mine a block, you receive a certain number of Bitcoins as a reward. This is known as the block reward. In addition to this, miners also earn transaction fees. When a transaction is made, the sender can include a fee that goes to the miner who mines the block containing that transaction. These transaction fees can add up, making mining potentially lucrative. Now let's talk about the risks. First and foremost, the high cost of electricity. Mining requires a lot of computational power, which in turn requires a lot of electricity. If the cost of electricity in your area is high, it could eat into your profits significantly. Another risk is the cost of hardware. Mining rigs are expensive and they can become obsolete rather quickly due to the ever-increasing difficulty of mining. Lastly, there's the risk of not solving a block. Remember, Bitcoin mining is a competitive process. It's possible to spend a lot of time and resources mining without ever solving a block. So, while the time it takes to mine $1 of Bitcoin can be fascinating, always consider the bigger picture. So, there you have it. That's our take on how long it takes to mine $1 of Bitcoin. We've journeyed from the very basics of Bitcoin mining, peeling back the layers to understand the process in its entirety, from the intricate algorithms to the powerful hardware used. We've delved into the myriad of factors that influence mining time, like the Bitcoin network's difficulty level, the miner's hash rate, and the cost of electricity. We've highlighted how these variables can make your mining time shorter or longer, painting a more nuanced picture of the mining landscape. We've also weighed the risks and rewards of Bitcoin mining. The potential for profit is certainly enticing, but it's not without its challenges and uncertainties. It's a high-stakes game that demands careful consideration and thorough research. Remember, cryptocurrency mining is a complex field. Always do your research and consider your options carefully. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more interesting insights into the world of cryptocurrencies.